Hello everyone, welcome to TJ's Desk. Today I plan on showing you guys how to connect a PS3 DualShock 3 controller to a Windows 10 computer. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to download the software. Uh, you can get it from many different places, but I prefer to get it from GitHub. It is SCP Toolkit version 1.6238 16010 of the day of this video and the one you want to download is right here scp toolkit setup.exe so give that a click and let's get downloading okay so done downloading now let's install i agree and all those are good to me let's install it right away there we go Let's click finish we're done and now it's going to give me shortcuts on my desktop uh, those shortcuts are currently on different screens so let's pull those over there for you the one we're going to want to use right away is going to be the driver installer and then next we're going to want to be using the toolkit monitor it out of DualShock 4 because we do not need that. We do want to do force driver installation. Let's go down. I want to install my Bluetooth and I want to install my PS3 controller. Then I click install. Here we go. So one of the services already existed. I may have not fully uninstalled the previous software. But DualShock 3 did install, so did Bluetooth. Now let's minimize this. Let's open the SCP Toolkit Monitor. Now if you look over here, you can see the controller is now blinking. It has controller 1. Instead of all four lights blinking. When all four lights are blinking, it lets you know the controller is trying to look for something to connect to. And now it's blinking on number one, showing that it's connected as controller one and is now charging. And now we're going to disconnect it. Once I have the tool kit monitor opened, it shows up in your toolbar. Yes, it uh, automatically minimizes for you. Now I'm going to open input tester. And I'm also going to double click it to open this window here. Showing me that pad one is, is connected is a DualShock 3. It's Mac at its address. It is connected through USB and is charging. And if I push one of the buttons, it is correctly working. Now I'm going to disconnect it and see if it will connect to Bluetooth, which it should do automatically. It should blink, saying it is searching. And then it should connect back to controller 1. There it goes. It is now connected to controller 1. The light is solid, saying it is connected but it is not charging. And there we go. We have connected a DualShock 3 controller to a Windows 10 computer. So that is the end of the video for today. Hopefully now your PS3 controller connects to Windows 10. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share. If you didn't like it, or if you have any tips, tricks, opinions, or ideas for uh, next videos, let me know in the comment section below and hit that corresponding like or dislike button. And as always, I will see you later.